Hi everyone and welcome to the next installment of my stationery collection series where I'll show you guys all of the gel pens that I own. So I will be the first to confess that I've kind of outgrown my gel pen phase. I was definitely a huge gel pen person in college when I was an undergrad, but I have been slowly moving away from it uh, just out of preference and what I really use pens and stationery for these days. Um, but I still keep things around in case I want to use them later. So the first set of gel pens that we are going to look at are all of the Uniball Signos that I own. So Uniball Signos are super popular gel pens, especially if you like that super fine tip, the 0.38 millimeter, 0.38 millimeter tip um, is very, very popular. Uh, at least it was when I was starting out on the bullet journal community and so I have a couple I think still that I haven't quite finished and then I picked it up in a couple of other colors so um, a few years ago they released some really nice sort of like vintagey off off I don't know like off like straight color <laughs> colors I don't know how to explain it you'll see in a second but um, so I have it in this gray um, this really beautiful plum color a really nice navy blue and um, what's the last one? Oh my gosh. Oh, the mustard. Yes, the mustard. <laughs> the mustard is another one that is uh, really nice and I've used a lot. Um, again, I don't use these as much. I've been moving away from smaller tip sizes for a few years now and towards larger tip sizes. Um, just because for some reason the smaller tips really strain my hand, so I have to like work extra hard to keep my handwriting under control and keep it neat. So I'm using larger tip sizes than the 0.38 millimeters. Um, other than the really tiny tips, I've got a couple of other Uniball Signos. So I have one of the pastel colors in orange, if you haven't caught on already. Uh, my favorite color is orange. Um, so I believe my best friend actually gifted me this specific orange pen. I get a lot of orange pens as gifts from my friends because they know how much I love orange. Um, and I use this one for special occasions like hand lettering and whatnot, but I love how opaque it is and I really like this shade of orange as well. Um, and then I have the two metallic colors in one, was it 1.0 millimeters? So I have the gold and I have the gray or silver, sorry. Um, but unfortunately, as I found out while I was filming this, the silver one is dried up at the tip, so I'm going to have to do some stationary magic to get the ink flowing again. And the last Uniball Signo that I have is the classic white broad tip Uniball Signo that I use for uh, just whatever whatever reason, I guess. Um, it'll mostly be for, like I show here, if I have like a black background, I'll put a white gel pen over it um, and yeah those are my signos the next set of pens are going to be all my zebra sarasa so zebra sarasa comes in a bunch a bunch of uh, different types um, I don't have I think many of the clips which are like the OG zebra set of size. so the first one I have is the study which isn't really different at all except that the barrel has like percentages on it so you can see how much of the ink you've already used um, which I guess is like a study motivator <laughs> um, and then uh, the Zebra Sasa Markon, which uh, is supposed to be better for use with highlighters. So if you're a person who highlights soon after uh, writing with a gel pen, this one is the better Zebra Sarasa for you. Um, then I have a clip insert in a Pentel Kleena body, just because the body is a little bigger and it's easier for me to hold in my hands. Um, and this is in a navy blue, 0.5 millimeter refill. Um, and then I have one Zebra Sadasa Dry. Uh, this dry ink tends to go through or bleed through a lot of papers, so I don't have a lot of these. I only have the blue, which was a gift from my friend. 
Um, and now we are looking at all of my vintage colors. I think I own all of the Zebra Saddle Set vintage colors. Um, I have them all in 0.5 millimeters. Uh, I really like all of these colors. I use them in my reading journal if you haven't seen that already. Um, and I just think they all look really good together. And you can't go wrong with using these beautiful vintage colors. I will say that despite having mostly moved on from using gel pens, uh, I always keep coming back to the Zebra Sarasa pen. Um, the ink is just how I like it. Um, it flows really nice in my handwriting. For some reason, looks better almost all the time with Zebra Sarasa pens. Um, I wish the barrels were a little bigger, uh, which is why I put one insert or one refill into a Kleena body. Um, but otherwise, I just really love the ink. It flows so well and is so consistent. Um, I actually also kind of like the smell of these. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, like if you ever smelled Zebra Sarasa ink, um, <laughs> I like that smell. Um, please don't judge me. I'm a, I'm a smell and sense person when it comes to my stationery in my book, so... My next set of gel pens are going to be my Muji pens. I think I actually only have bought one of these myself and the rest are gifts um, because I don't have Muji anywhere near me. I was in Australia for a few months and that was the only time I ever really lived near a Muji and even then for some reason I didn't buy the pens because uh, the reason actually being that my friends buy me Muji pens whenever they go to Muji because they are wonderful and I love them. Um, I actually learned that one of them I hadn't even opened yet because I had one of my old, uh, one of the old versions of the retractable pen. Um, so I have it in various colors. I prefer the, reta the retractable over <laughs> the capped versions. Um, and I really, really like the new retractable bodies. For some reason, they're super comfortable for me to write. I think they're a little thicker than the old retractable bodies. Um, so, uh, when I told my friends that, they got me a couple of the retractable pens in orange and teal because I love those colors. next pens I have here are some new additions to my collection. So they are the Pentel Energels, but specifically in the metal tip, so not the uh, needlepoint tip. I really hate needlepoint tips, I've learned. I prefer these thicker metal tips. So um, these are only available in 0.7 millimeters, but I don't really mind. Um, the writing experience is really nice in terms of ergonomics. It's a bigger body. Like I mentioned earlier, I really prefer writing with this. Sometimes I do miss the smaller 0.5 millimeter tips, but I've actually quite been enjoying the 0.7 millimeter tips. As I mentioned earlier, I have been gravitating more towards the thicker tips. So. Uh, yeah, I picked this up in a few different colors recently and have really been enjoying having these in my collection. Okay, the next set are my Pilot Juice pens. So I just have the regular Black Pilot Juice in 0.5 millimeters, and then I have it uh, also in uh, gray. I don't really like the gray. It's a weird shade of gray to me, so I haven't used it much. Um, and then I have this super old uh, metallic Pilot Juice in purple that I honestly should have run out by now because of how much I've used it, but I still haven't run out of it somehow, miraculously. Um, and then I have a couple of Juice Ups, which I wanted to try just because it looked neat and I like trying new pens. Um, but I found out that these are needlepoint tips, and I hate needlepoint tips. I've been using the 0.5 millimeter with my reading journal just to finish out the pen, but uh, yeah, do not enjoy these at all. The 
These next pens are gifts from my best friend. Um, I've never found these pens in the States, but if they are available somewhere in the States, let me know. Um, these are the hybrid dual metallic gel pens. They are so cool. They have the coolest metallic uh, finish and sheen to them. So when they dry down, um, you can really see like all of the flecks of the metallic in the, the ink. Um, so I love using this for cards and hand lettering because if someone like picks up the paper and moves it in the light, you can really see all the different colors. So there are actually, for all of these, I think at least two colors in each pen. Um, and it's so cool to see all of the colors and all the sparkliness. I think these are super beautiful. Um, I've had these for like years, but I don't want to use them because I can't find them here in the States and I don't want to run out of them. Um, but I love them so much. Uh, if if I could buy tons, I would, and I would just use these like all the time for decorating. But alas, I uh, still haven't found a U.S. supplier. So these last few are going to be some miscellaneous pens. So for the past few pens, I've had several of like the same pen in different colors, but these ones are just ones that I have standalone, probably in black or blue. Um, so I have the Uniball one in 0.5 millimeters. I don't like this one. <laughs> and then I have the, uh, I think it's a, is it Pentel Colito or is it Pilot Colito? Um, it's a high-tech Kalito 0.5 millimeters. I hate this one too, needle point. Um, uh, I have a Signo that I forgot to put with the, re the rest of the Uniball Signos, but this is a retractable Signo with a Toy Story body in 0.38 millimeters in blue. Um, and then I just have one Ink Joy in a navy blue color because it was like the only Ink Joy available for so long during the pandemic. Um, so I just picked it up in blue and I've actually been quite enjoying it. But that is actually it for all the pens that I, or the gel pens that I own. And I say it like I didn't just go through like 50 plus pens. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw them all on the table now. It's going to be absolute chaos, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you all have a good rest of your day and good rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Bye.